So my friend April just tagged me in a post, well, in a story, I think it was yesterday, where she was saying that she um, finally has been able to kind of get her perioral dermatitis under control. And it's because she's been using the Calendula cream, you guys. I am telling you, I just, when she tagged me in it, it made me realize that I haven't like really talked about it enough. <laughs> Because when I tell you guys that I have been trying to find something, I've had perioral dermatitis around my face for years. I'm talking years. And I've tried thousands of things. And you can kind of see it where it's a little bit redder through here, but not bad because it's like under control right now because um, of that dang Calendula cream. So for real, after spending hours, I've spent <laughs> countless hours of research on um, perioral der dermatitis. And what's crazy is there's not a lot of info around it. Like they don't really know what causes it. There's all kinds of different speculations and theories on it. But all I know is it seems to be getting more and more common. There's more and more people that have it. And there's, I've like I said, there's not a ton of information on how to heal it. Um, and I know too, like a lot of you have, like I've, I mean, I've gotten tons of suggestions of to like, make sure you're using a fluoride free toothpaste, make sure. And I, I promise I am, I've done all those things because I've had it for so long. Um, I have done everything. I've read many, many websites about it and I've done all the things and some things work temporarily. Some things don't work at all. Um, but I will tell you, using the calendula cream daily has kept it gone and kept it at bay so i put it on every single night after i wash my face and it's kept it completely gone and like i'm so excited about it okay so i've seen this be done a couple of times and i really like it i think it's so pretty um where you take the your illuminator so i just took my rose gold illuminator which is a cream right here and then put that on a few dots and then i'm going to take my blush which is ruby i'm gonna take ruby and i'm gonna put that kind of right over it okay so i blended that side out let's do this side so i just take my uh bronzer blush brush and then just kind of press those colors together and like softly blend it but do you see how it just kind of creates like that shimmer it's so pretty um i actually just seen a dm come through from someone who said that um, she used the cream on her daughter's sunburn and it was like healed within two days and she didn't peel. So I don't know. We're actually headed to Mexico in a week. I am so excited. Oh, I better bring the calendula cream in case we get some burns. Um, I'm not, don't worry. I've learned my lesson. I'm staying out of the sun. King, when I say I have not seen the sun in probably two weeks not joking living in utah in the winter is brutal it's like starting to really affect my mental stability <laughs> i feel like anybody in my family would probably attest to that right now <laughs> so i do like to go over that so that i put the cream bronzer on my lids it's kind of like a base for color and then i go over it with the bella i mean baba <laughs> the Bubba eyeshadow from Saint, which is like just this really pretty warm brown, um, to just like set it and keep it from creasing. In fact, I do go in today to get the stitches out of my um, shoulder. So like the cut that they made to take out the other mole, that one's on my shoulder. I get those stitches out today. So that'll be nice. I don't think I've showed you my shoulder one. Let me show you that one. So these are the, this, these are the stitches that come out today. So get those, this one out today. This one's like half the size of the one that was on my leg, but the one on my leg was melanoma. This one is not, that one is like, was like pre, I forget what they call it, but. So I got so busy chatting that I forgot to really talk about the makeup. <laughs> my makeup that I use today. So, which I use every day, basically. Um, I will say though, I did purchase, cause I tell you guys all the time, I try and buy everything, especially if it's like trending and going viral. So the latest one was the Made by Mario, ordered it, three different colors, tried it for three days, 
did not love it. The how I've tried house labs. I've literally tried them all. Anything that's supposed to be like the best that everybody loves, I try them. And I'm telling you, nothing compares to Saint Street Foundation. The glow this has, the way it lays on the skin, it doesn't settle in fine lines and wrinkles. It is the best. So I use the Saints 3D foundation, have used it for a few years, like six actually. And it is seriously, I'm not kidding. So if you are interested in trying Saints foundation, I will say you have to have the right colors. The right colors is what makes it, is what makes it, it makes it or breaks it. So I would love to help color match you if you need help choosing your colors, I'll put my link here. You can click that and then upload your selfies and then I'll just help color match you. I just use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, by the way, this stuff is the best. Best setting spray I've ever used, hands down. Oh, one question I always get asked is if Saints makeup is good for mature skin. Yes, the best for mature skin. It's so good because it looks, it really takes on like a youthful, radiant glow. Like I said, it does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. Um, our skin is dries out the older we get, unfortunately. So a cream is amazing. Uh, that liner that I just used is the NYX or NYX in the color Nude Truffle. And then I just put the Saints uh, Lip and Cheek Boardwalk to like top it off the on my lips. It's a glossy finish, which I like because it just like makes it soft and hydrating, which is awesome.